working on some pop punk today. So I have to pitch correct. So that's what you guys get to watch me do. All right, anyways, let's get to it. Let's get to this. All right, so the uh, what the band requested is that we do some timing adjustment and then pitch and harmony tightening and tuning. So uh, what I'm going to do is these drums are MIDI drums, so they're quantized. And I'm going to go through and just tighten up the vocal to, to the grid, basically. But I want to keep it a little bit loose so that it has... Um, a little bit of ebb and flow to it, so it sounds more natural. So, um, what I like to do for tuning vocals, I just, or for timing the vocals, I'll just, like, um, time stretch everything. Then the newer versions of Cubase are so good with their algorithms, you really can't hear any artifacts from this. The sun goes down with you. Okay, so everything's a little bit slow, so let's just bring this back. Oh. So that's their style is to be a little bit behind the beats. So I have to be very careful tightening this up. Um, we don't want it to sound robotic. It's darker than what's true. It's darker than what's true. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna not do any timing adjustment on this. I'll fix the 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 uh, harmonies. I'm not gonna worry about this. Um, it has a cool vibe, and I don't want to take away from it. And I think that if I just tightened everything to a grid, it's gonna ruin it. So let's let's just go ahead, and I'm just gonna do some quick aligning of these other vocals. So. The way I like to do everything is to use this software called Revoice. It's um, kind of expensive, but I bought it because I do a lot of hip hop. So look, it's, it's this program, but basically what we do is we just drag and drop things into it and then it will detect, oops, disappears, hold on. What do we, we, gotta, we gotta fix this. How are we gonna fix it? There we go, all right. We're gonna drag it. There it is. Here we go. We just drop these all off. And I accidentally slid this one over, so I got to fix it. There we go. And then once we have all the different tracks that we want to line up in the software, um, then we can just have it automatically do it for us. It's pretty amazing. So we want um, tight timing. We don't want to do any pitch correction or anything. We just want to time it. Um, and so then you set your main guide track, which is the basically the main vocal, and then any of the harmonies we're going to set as dub tracks. And then we just basically set this up, have it do it twice, and then it aligns it. It's really awesome. So people use this software for like voiceovers for radio commercials. So they'll they'll do a really bad take, like they're film being filmed, and they use the camera uh, microphone, and they'll go in a studio and re-record the dialogue that they said, and then they can use this same software to go and align all the different things. Um, so it's it's pretty awesome in that regard. My face is all screwed up. Let me fix this. I look crazy. I look all messed up here. One second. There we go. Man, I'm just all struggle bus today. Okay, so let's let's check this out. Um, we're gonna drag and drop these newly aligned tracks. What is try this one more time? struggling today do not know why okay so these actually go here and then we just snap them to the origin and it goes right in their spot and it's amazing so now let's listen to see if it did a good job aligning it if it didn't then we're gonna have to go through and individually tune everything and, and adjust it like the good old days 
The sun goes down with you Gets darker than what's true All right, let's check it out. The sun goes down with you Gets darker than what's true Calming with our sounds To numb away the view All our friends so think so, good. so Don't really think I know Bottles of my youth Feeding back to you Maybe Perfect. So that's awesome. Normally I'd have to go in and adjust each one of these, every syllable by hand. And that's how I, that's how I did it for like 10 years. Just to slide everything and snap it and make every syllable exactly right. But um, like I said, software's come so far that you can, we can do this very quickly now. So super thankful for the people that came out with Revoice. Um, and um, what's the other company? Like Vocal Line, I think was what they were called before. Amazing. Saves my life. Okay, so we want to um, we're gonna keep aligning. So let's just bring in the next set of vocals. Um, actually, I'm gonna clear all this stuff out. Where am I at? Clear tracks. Here we go. There it is. Okay. So th the secret to making this work is you have to make sure that the two tracks, so the main and the harmonies, are exactly the same. If, you, if they're not the same, uh, there's like an extra um or someone says a different word, it's not going to line it properly. So if we look right here, the harmonies don't have this word in it. So what, what is this word? But it won't make sense. But it won't. So. But, but, but it won't make sense. So I'm going to leave that out. Okay, so let's bring this one in. What's up, Anthony? Thanks for popping in, homie. All right. This dude sounds just like Blink-182, though. So let's just copy, get our, get our pieces. I'm going to drop them in this software again. All right, do the alignment. Boom. And then we're going to hope that everything went smoothly. Let's listen back. Maybe you want it to be understanding. That is perfect. Uh, Nick, have I compared Revoice to Cubase 10? I have not. I have Cubase 9.5. But when I saw that Cubase 10 had this type of feature, it kind of made me jealous. They spent like $600 on the Revoice software which I think is more than I paid for Cubase in its like entirety. Um, I'm assuming Cubase and Steinberg have done a good job with, with their uh, alignment algorithms and stuff, but I, I haven't used it personally. Um, the other benefit to um, using Revoice, and I, maybe Cubase has this feature too, but it can also tune the vocals at the same time aligning them. So because these are harmonies, they're different different tones so we're not um i don't have it automatically tune it but if you have let's say like a chorus that has you want it to like really sound huge you can do three vocal takes the same take and then you tune the main center vocal and then you can time and pitch at the exact like in one second the uh left and right sides and then uh drop those in and everything's perfect you don't have to spend a lot of time trying to go through and tune everything and align everything it's really really quick um, maybe Cubase does that. I don't know. Um, but in terms of alignment, this this is pretty awesome. So I'm sticking with it. All right, let's keep on. Let's keep rolling here. What do we got? Uh, the next piece. Let's get these pulled in. I just want to cut those segments. Again, making sure there's no additional vocal verbiage. Otherwise, it won't align it. It'll sound crazy. It'll probably happen at some point, and I'll show you guys. So let's just align those, drop them into the session. Okay, snap them to the origin. Let's make sure this sounds good. It won't make sense either way. But it won't make sense either way. All right, cool. Yeah, those sound pretty good. There's a little bit of a pop here, so let's just put a crossfade in here. But it won't make sense either. But it won't make sense either. You know what? I think that was on the original 
crack. It won't make sense either. Way, but it won't make sense either. Way. I don't know. Where is it? Where's that? It pop? won't make sense either. We'll just keep going. If I hear it in the mix, then we'll we'll deal with it later. So let's uh let's get this going. Let's go to the next section. What's up, Justine? Good to see you. I saw you were just at the the URM meetup in Nashville. How was that? Am I conceptual ideas making me criticize it all? Okay, let's get that in there. Keep these moving. Man, my studio is so hot. It's like it's like 80 degrees in here. Can't handle it. All right, let's tune, get this squared away. Make sure this sounds good and keep on moving. All ideas making me criticize it all I know. Just Perfect. take me somewhere else. All right, and this last one actually sounded fine as, well, maybe not. Let me see. Take me somewhere else. Uh, let, it's better to be safe than sorry, I guess. Let's, uh, let's time these ones as well. Get this going. And if you know all your shortcuts, you can do this so fast. Um, but the biggest thing is you got to make sure the prep is good. So make sure that each syllable that's up and the main track is in line with what's below. Otherwise, all hell breaks loose. Um, this is, I try to use the, like this trick for, for, um, aligning guitars and drums and stuff. It doesn't really work as well as I was hoping. Um, that takes a little bit more manual labor. Take me somewhere else. Cool. That's good. All right. So we've, we've gotten, how much have we gotten done? So we're like halfway through it almost. So let's go. Let's, what do we got here? Um, these look, this looks like there's extra words here. It repeats like this. Let's see if that's Be done. Be back in too. time for us. It makes me wonder why. It repeats like this. So the it. Repeats like that. So that it right here. It repeat. That is going to screw everything up if we leave it in there. So let's cut it right at the repeats part. Trust, I've done this enough times to know it's uh, that is like a landmine. Grant, what's going on, man? Good to see you. Thanks for popping in. All right, let's uh, so let's grab this, do the quick alignment, Rick. Get these harmonies perfect. Perfect harmonies makes every client happy. It's am it's amazing like if there's good performance or good editing on a track, it makes it sound so much better. And people will ask, like, oh man, you did such a good job mixing it. But you know, the reality is is that like the song was well written and well edited. And those two things alone will make up for like ninety percent of like poor mixing, I swear. Simultaneous. Sounds good. Be back in time for us. It makes me wonder why cool. it repeats like this. All right, so let's grab this repeats part like this. And that, or uh, align this bad boy. Yep, so this is what I get to do on my weekends. I just come in here. It's, it's kind of like, it's almost like meditating. Like a massage for your brain. Edit, I feel like edit, like when you edit vocals and stuff like this. I, I, it repeats like this. But it can turn into a nightmare really fast if you have a difficult passage that where there's a lot of things going against you in terms of like trying to make things hidden and edit it or tune correctly if it was sung like completely in the wrong key, which happens way more often than I'd like to admit. <laughs> but this song's this song's pretty good. All right, so all these look good. There's no weird breaths. Breaths will screw things up too. So like this, there's a, there's some word here, but we see it in all these other. So we're good there. Let's keep going. Everything's clean. Uh, I think we're good. Still good. Cool. Man, so this is a, yeah, a lot of these are. All right, so here's the end. 
Let's drag these, this really long, this looks like an almost an entire bridge or something. Let's make sure this is cut, and then we'll line it, and then once the alignment is done, then we do the tuning. Um, I've learned the hard way um, that you just, you have to make sure that uh, everything's aligned first, because then if you tune it and then align it, you get really crazy artifacts, and then you can also change, sometimes the tuning will change. Um, and I think uh, the tuning's more important. If you get the timing right, then the tuning, everything goes a little bit smoother. Remember that. Put that in the put that in your notes. Super important. You can do probably do it the other way, but more often than not, when I do it, when I align it first, then tune it, then good things happen. Oh, Grant, I'm not a not necessarily a rocket scientist. All right. I just, I'm a chemist, all right, man? I just do, do some of that stuff. But actually, speaking of rocket science, I might, might be working on rockets. We should talk at the summit. I'll fill you in. Some cool stuff. All right, let's, uh, let's make sure this sounds good. Okay. So, let's check the alignment again. So this makes me a little worried. You can see that these two visually are not aligned. So I'm going to have to probably tighten this one up by hand. Sounded okay, though. Let me see what's going on. Yeah, it's a little off. Let's see what the original looks like. Because maybe the original is pretty close. The original is pretty close, but what I'm going to do... Let's just slip edit this bad boy over. Look at that. Boop. Done. That, the rest should be all lined up. Yeah. Cool. All right, let's check the main. Too far to run to meet the end. Too far to throw it all depends. It's so obvious to see. So far, so good. We're all just gonna be too late to make you understand. Too late to know what I was How's this for product it's placement? All gonna be the same. Oops, what did I did I break something? It's all just gonna rust. That sounded good. Look at this product placement right here. Boop. Unstoppable recording machine, baby. <laughs> all right. So that is good. I think this brings us to the bridge now. Um. So we have, let's see, where are we at? Yep, so there's no harmonies with these vocals over the bridge. We have this really cool, like, spacey vocal thing going on. I'll play this. I can never sigh if all it over well. I can never... Cool. See, sounds pretty good. So then we just have this last chorus, looks like. Uh, and then I'll start tuning these things. Maybe you want it to be understanding. Uh, before I get ahead of myself, look at this. I think there's a right here. See this? You gotta gotta make sure we don't include that, or it will ruin. It might break the internet. Here too. See, man, I was, they were trying to set me up. The some people, I tell you. <laughs> Oh, I have too much fun. All right. Make sure this is cool. We like to make things cool. I feel like I'm like the Billy Decker of editing, maybe. Like, that guy can speed mix. I can speed edit. Get this going. I'm also, like, running on, like, four cups of coffee right now, so... That always helps. All right. I'm just going to get all this stuff um, edited and we'll play it back because I, I have the utmost confidence in this software that it's going to do this track justice and not screw this up. Let's check this out. Are we aligned? 
understanding But it won't make sense either way Oh man, comments coming in And my conceptual ideas Oh man, we got all sorts of people up in here all I know. Matt, Just what's up, homie? Take me somewhere else I think I heard something weird, hang on Just take me somewhere else This is weird Alright, so this, I might have screwed something up Let's listen, this might have done that crazy thing I warned you guys about Yeah, you see that? I think they, uh, I think one of these takes is missing a word Let me just cut, cut these Oh, see? I left this guy in So let's realign this, let me clear, clear these tracks out Clear tracks Alright so it'll time, if it's missing that one word, it'll just time stretch uh, all the way, any any word or syllable near it, and just completely destroy it. It, it could be kind of cool for like a special effect or something, but we ain't going to do no special effects for this song. Just saying. Cool. That sounds good. All right. Bring it all back in. Make sure nothing sounds crazy. Oh, you guys are ridiculous. You need to cut it. Maybe you want it to be understanding. But it won't make sense either way. Alright, it's sounding good. I don't even need to like lie to myself. Um, let's start tuning this thing. All right, so this, goes down I was told you. it's in the key of A, but I'm assuming it's A major. True, with our sounds to numb away the view. All our friends think so. So the vocal performance is pretty good. Um, doesn't look like I really need to do too much. Don't really think I know bottles of my youth. Feeding back to you. Maybe you want it to be under. Let me see if this, it might, this might need to be up here. Maybe you want it to yeah. be understanding. But it won't make sense either way. You want it to be under. So I just gotta make sure this note's not crazy. You. Maybe you want it to be under. Maybe you want it to be understanding. So, I mean, sometimes you can just go and crank this thing down and make turn it into tape T pain or something. But again, this is like pop punk, so you don't you gotta be really careful. You there has to be some element of like rawness and aggression kind of there. Um, otherwise, it just ruins the genre. It turns it into some something else that it's not. Maybe you want it to be understanding, but it won't make sense either way. Sounds good. And my conceptual ideas making me criticize it all I know. Just take me somewhere else. Sounds good. Simultaneous. What do we got here? Be back in time for us It makes me wonder why It repeats like this Too far to run to meet the end Cool That is my dog Jumping up on the door I don't know if you guys can hear it But the doggy is jumping on the door And opens the door Because she's evil Evil boxer dog What are you doing? He's just hanging out all right, let's keep tuning. It's like this. Too far to run to meet the end. Too far to throw it all depends. It's so obvious to What's up, see. Eric? How you doing, man? We're all just Ooh. gonna be too late to make you let's understand. Too late to know what I was stand. It's all gonna be the same. 
It's all just gonna rust. Okay, so now that we've analyzed the notes, let's make sure everything's tuned correctly. It's like this. Too far to run to meet the end. Too far to throw. It all depends. It's so obvious. A little flat to here. See. Watch this all, one all depends. It's so obvious to see. We're all just gonna be too late to make you understand. Too late to know where I was stand. It's all gonna be. This uh, this note transitions a little fast, so it gives it a little bit like a robotic thing right here. Let me just I gotta zoom this in. We just want to smooth this out a little bit. Yeah, we can also tighten that itch up a little bit. Maybe not. Break it down. <laughs> Too late to it's kind of like Photoshop. You could just draw pictures with these things. Too late to know where I was standing. It's all gonna be the same. The same. It's all just gonna run. Let's make this a little bit tighter. This sounded a little bit on like the lazies. Not bad, just lazy. It's all just gonna rust. Cool. All right, so let's do, um, let's get this guy. So I use Waves Tune. Um, a lot of people like Auto Tune. I think they're both pretty good. Um, Auto Tune is just like, Five or six hundred dollars, so I don't want to pay for that if I have a tool that I can uh, use that's a lot less, like ten times less. I can always say I've gotten up well. I can now say that I have got a name. I can now act the way that I have been. Now I'm really hoping I can get over you. So this part, he's got a cool little vibrato going on right here. So I want to make sure we do not kill that. So. I'm going to, um, let's see, let's take a listen to it. Act the way that I have been, I'm really so that, this is like the, like, I, I don't know what to, I mean, stylistically, that's, we like have to keep that. Um, so I'm just going to, I'm actually going to try to enhance it. Let me see. This is what makes, this is what makes um, bands unique is when they have, you know, like these little vibrato things um, and these little different intricacies to the voice. And if you go through it with pitch correction and you kill all those things, you make them sound like everybody else. So we want to make sure that that's not gone. Um, but at the same time, I don't want to make it sound crazy. I might have made it sound crazy. Name. I can now act the way that I have been. Now I'm really hoping I can get over you. So I made it a little now too aggressive. Been, I'm really hoping I can get over you. Cool. There's something, I mean, just like that. That's subtle enough that you can hear it. I act the way that I have been. I'm really hoping I can get over you. Perfect. And it's kind of, it brings out some of the emotion, like, at that point, too. So I, that, we have to, we have to keep it that way. Unless the band hates it, then I'll go and just T-paint it. <laughs> Maybe you wanted to be understanding, but it won't make sense either way. Pretty sure it's supposed but to be here. it won't make sense either way. Uh, maybe it's supposed to be a step. So if you don't get sheet music, so I've had a band actually send me like sheet music, and that was incredible because then I could just look at the sheet. See the notes for each syllable, and then I could tune it exactly how they wanted it. But a lot of this is kind of just judgment. So it's hard to know what to do. But it will make sense either way. I'm just gonna play it safe and just keep it right here. Ding. But it will make sense either way. Cool. And my conceptual ideas making me criticize it all I know. Just take me somewhere else. There you go. We got the main vocals tuned up. So at this point, let's... I forgot who said it. There was some pretty famous mix engineer that um, 
said now you bury the evidence. So like you, you print it with the tuning and then get rid of the software. So that's how I'm going to do. I'm going to go bury the evidence. Right so let me just minus six. I need to write this stuff. So disorganized. So I'm, I'm just writing down the, the gain settings. Because when I, when I print it, I'm going to print it at 0 dB. And then I'm going to have to enter this back in. So I'll just zero this out. And then we're going to bypass everything but the tuning software. So all this stuff. Actually, that, that's probably fine. Because when we render it, it won't, it won't grab the sends. Okay, so let's just print this. So we're going to do... Uh, one event, channel settings. So this, this basically will only take the settings I have in the channel. Um, signal path will grab the send effect, so we can't, we don't want to use that. Um, and this is a 24-bit. This is all like the nerdy stuff that no one really cares about, except me. <laughs> and we're just going to drop this into a folder. All right, so now we're burying the evidence. Now no one will know, the band will never know that I tuned their vocals, except that they paid me to do it. So I'll, I'll tell them I did it. <laughs> so how you guys doing? Diego, what's up, man? If you're still here, let's see what, I dropped by. Dude, you're the best. Oh, I'll bring some tea to Vegas. You, you got, you better believe that. All right. Evidence is buried. Drag it over here. Um, now I'm just going to put in those settings we had before. Nerdy stuff here that nobody cares about. All right. And then we deactivate the tuning software and we're good to go. So let's just double check it, make sure everything sounds cool. It's darker than what's true. Coming with our sounds to numb away the view. Kyle, you oh, came in like clockwork, so. man, every time. Number one really fan right there. <laughs> Forget. Always remember to save your session. Is something is gonna crash. It's just a matter of time. Simultaneous. Be back in time for us. Makes me wonder why. It repeats. To run to meet the end. Too far to throw it all to the Sorry, one second. So this is sounding pretty good. I'm just setting up the vocal tuning software for the harmonies now. Um, just so we can quickly get through it. Got deadlines. I'm going to be on travel all week starting tomorrow through Friday. So I have to get all my work done for the next week. To done today. The sun goes down with you. It's darker. Man, Grant, why you gotta hate, man? That's why I bought a new computer. <laughs> the CPU is rough. So, uh, what are you saying? What's my buffer? Dude, my buffer settings are maxed out. Like, no joke. Um, yeah, so actually, I'm not using the drivers for my interface right now because I have to run it through voice meter. So this, this is so you can actually hear me 
uh, when I do the live streaming. Um, but let me see what we got. I mean, we're like at a second. No, wait, no, uh, sorry, those are samples, not milliseconds. So, but yeah, that's pretty much maxed out, dude. It's it's rough, man. I, I that's why I had to upgrade the computer. It was hard to keep up. You kids these days with your fancy technology you couldn't keep up, man. The sun goes down when you, All right. So now, also, this is the other benefit of time aligning before you pitch is that you can very easily hear where there's problems with tuning between the two tracks, so for like harmonies. So check this out. It'll be very easy to figure out which one is out of tune. Let me see. This is the right one. It's going to put it right and left so that when I hear it popping up, I, can, I know which, word, which way to look. It's darker than what's true. Like right here. Boom. Um, why isn't it? Oh, it's because it's chromatic. Put it on. There we go. Okay, so let's let's play it from the top again. So I heard. Uh, where is it? Right here. This guy. So it's just a little bit slow getting into that note. So far, so good. So the nice thing about this song is the melodies are pretty simple. So the tuning process is super fast for me. Um, I do a lot of pop work where they're doing a lot of trills and all sorts of stuff. It's very, very intricate. And so it's, it takes such a long time to, to pit, like carefully pitch correct everything. Yeah, Grant, Grant, you're exactly right, man. It's, uh, the sound is not 100% in the tools. It's definitely the person that is behind the wheel because I've been, like, I will give people my settings. I've given, I can literally sh make YouTube videos and show people how I do things, and it won't sound anything like how I mixed it. It's crazy. And everybody's environment, like, mixing environments are different. You're exactly right. It's just you got to develop your own style and through trial and error and mixing and practicing, that's when you get good at something. It's not not some magical tool for twenty nine ninety nine. You know, it's not some plug in that's gonna like solve all your problems. Even though there are some that are pretty legit and they have they have like saved me quite a bit of time, but it's the sound is me, right? And so your sound sounds like you. The real All right, so let's tighten that one up. Good enough for government work. Let me tell you, I know about government work. <laughs> Simultaneous, be back in time for us. Makes me wonder why. Repeats like this Too far to run to meet the end Too far to throw it all depends it's so, so, so far these are sound pretty good We're all just gonna be Too late to make you Dude, understand. Diego, that's an idea I should just mix in a lab coat I like that That's, that's my branding I'm gonna hire you as my marketing guy Mixing in a lab coat. I love that. <laughs> Let me just see what this is. At this, yeah, we got to bring this one up. Very subtle. But all these, all these little moves add up. All right, so we're missing a note there. Too late. Too late. Yep, right here. 
Let's tighten up. There we go. That attack so we can hear a little bit of note articulation. Awesome. And we got it. We got it. This is again, this is kind of just like a lazy note. So we have to make it pop a little bit more. So this, I think, is supposed to be down here. Nope, I lied. That's right. This one's wrong. It's always good. We should double check with the main vocal because I might just be making stuff up and tuning it just arbitrarily to some unknown key. But yeah, we need a we need an anchor, and so that's where the the main vocal is. Too late to know where I was standing. It's all gonna be the same. Cool. Sounds it's good. So one of these notes is a little bit slow. One. Slide that one. Cool. There it is. All right. I think that's, yeah, that's it for those. And then uh, let's just do these two, and then I'm calling it quits after this. And then we'll play it back and see how awesome it sounds with everything tuned and aligned. Maybe you want it to be on and there's some. We gotta we gotta tighten some stuff up here. Let's. Uh... Oh, I know what the issue is. Again, it's because I didn't have it set up right. So I had it in chromatic scale. So it's that allows every single note on a piano to be eligible for um, the automatic selection of what they what the algorithm thinks the note should be. So you want to make sure it's the right key. It certainly isn't chromatic scale. There's a lot of bad notes if it's chromatic. So um, yeah, when I set it to major, it, it does a much better job tracking the right note. Maybe you want it to be understanding. Oops. Makes sense either. Maybe you want Good. Sounds good. Sounding good. We got a few more. Is it all I know? Just take me somewhere else. Man, if I didn't make music, like, I don't know what I would, I would get into so much trouble. I love doing this stuff. What do you, what do you guys do? Do you have any creative outlets outside of, like, your day job? Like, what, what do people do to just relax? I, I don't know. <laughs> I've always just worked. Maybe. Okay. This is the last part of the last chorus. So we'll get this tightened up and then figure out if it's good to go. Right. Sounds good. That also sounded good. Tighten this one a little bit. Just take me somewhere else. All right. Take me somewhere else. There it is. Let's give it, let's give it a playthrough and see. Now I'm going to log off of here. The 
Dude, this this song like takes me back to like high school, college, like to a T. The vibe, everything is there. Sounds good to me. I think that's a wrap. I save this uh, and send it to band, see what they think. So thanks for hanging out. I uh, appreciate it, guys. And if I hope you learned something, uh, I try to do this every week, but I'll be busy most of the week next week, so I might not get a chance to pop in here. Um, but as always, if you have questions or something you didn't get to ask, just add a comment and I'll get back to you. So have a wonderful weekend, everybody. I'm out. See ya. The best to beat and defeat the villain. My confidence is straight to the ceiling. So you can say that. You said he couldn't take the call.